Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. So this is Gundam Battle Operation 2. And this is a request from Angel who wanted the Gundam Mark III in Psycho Gundam Mark II colors. This is a follow-up to a request I did earlier with the Super Gundam in the original Psycho Gundam's colors. And this is also a uh, Friday night round where we managed to actually get into an ace uh, match with a stack of five players. It's me, Spidey Wing, Demolition Hound, Maelstrom, and Moko. So we've got, yeah, we've got uh, five people, and that's not always easy, because in case you didn't know about how the matchmaking works, um, the, uh, the game will look for basically one, one up or one down from the size of uh, the group you're bringing in for an opposing group. So if you bring three people, it will uh, it will try and match you against a group queue of two or four, uh, uh, four people, a group of three or five, you know, three, four or five, and so on. So the more people you, the more people you bring in, the harder it can be to find a group because because of that. Because uh, if there aren't any groups, uh, you know, if you bring in five people, there have to be groups of four, uh, between four and six people queuing, and if there aren't, you're going to sit there a while. So, it's one of those things we've taken to just splitting into smaller groups in the evenings uh, when we uh, queue, just to make sure we can actually, you know, get into uh, into some matches. Also, it's uh, one of those things where sometimes that just uh, works out better, because there are costs that some people like more, and some people like space more than others, and, uh, and if you can you know, match people up along those lines so everybody can have a good time. And, you know, that's, that's always been the goal, really. I, I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm just here to, uh, to, uh, enjoy myself playing this, ideally. And, you know, hopefully, so far I've been lucky enough that other, other people seem to like me, like to watch me playing and talking about playing, so what the hey. Can't, can't really beat that when you get down to it. Uh, 5.45 left at 3 minutes an ace will be chosen. They will be worth triple points to the enemy team. And every enemy they kill is worth triple points to their team. And I just, you know, I just repeat this every almost every time I uh, uh, run an ace match. Because it's just, it's amazing how many people who, you know, by their, by their level and their rating and all those things have to have been playing the game for a while and just, I... There, we are just not on the same wavelength, and I don't get it. Luckily, here we're all in contact with one another, so it's a little bit easier. Um, or, you know, it, it's a little bit easier, or it's not, because sometimes we're just having a completely random conversation about something else. So, that, that happens a lot. So, it's, you know, it may not be as much of an advantage as it uh, sounds like sometimes. But that is a Gelgug GK that just uh, whiffed a tackle and is going to pay for it heavily. However, since I've got the uh, a member of their team to my left, I also am going to pay for uh, my hubris here. And I believe it is a full armor striker custom that was just uh, uh, just smacking me with its uh, uh, beam knuckle daggers, I think is what the game calls them. And, okay, well there is a full armor something. I think it is, yeah, there... I. I think I just saw the sword on the... Yep, there's the sword. That's the Full Armor Striker Custom. Which is an interesting beast. I, I need to practice it more, but as I've mentioned before, just, you know, jumping from suit to suit and request to request means that, you know, I kind of had to pick one early to be my fallback, and that is the Gelgug. The whole Gelgug family I'm okay with, but the early production Gelgug is still just the most comfortable thing for me. So, 8369 to 6680... Less than a minute until the ace is chosen. I forget who it is. Might be me, might be Maelstrom, might be Moko. I I do not remember at all. So we will f uh, find out. Uh, let's see. They've got... Yeah, that's... I forget what the red... I have the red things to go to GK. Uh, the full armor striker custom, I believe, is a general. Looks like that's also a GPO3 there, if I recognize the icon. And I do. And, uh, yeah. Bunch of stuff was trying to land a uh, piercing shot with the Mark III's beam rifle, because it does pierce, but didn't quite get it done. And also, just since it's almost ace time, kind of, uh, kind of, you know, lobbying for it a little bit, just because I do have a request to fill. 
and managed to dodge out of the way of that uh, GPO-3 and take it out just in time for the Ace Buzzer. And... Okay, nope, it is Demo in the... I believe that's the Hazel 2. So, yep, it sure is. And I am just kind of diving in in the hopes that he can retreat and get to some cover. And naturally, as Ace trying to... Uh, trying to wound without killing, we have a good lead, but I'd like to keep it. And keeping it means... Yeah, keeping it means doing uh, what you can. Um, Demo just used a heavy attack, which charges on the Hazel 2. Just, you know, charges straight forward. Ran straight down the alley, at least hit a couple of things. So that, uh, that's a good uh, way to go for now. Um, over, over time, I've kind of revised how I look at ace matches, because it used to be a thing of, okay, when the ace is down, everything is fair game. And, you know, that's still, I think, a, a valid way to look at it, but at this point, generally, I try to just weaken things for the ace while the ace is down and have as many low health targets on the screen as possible while I, uh, you know, while they're getting ready to respawn. That GPO-3 is uh, about ready to go, but I don't know where Demo is, so if I can't get away from it, I might just kill it. Or just shoot right through there and hopefully get the ace. Did not damage the ace at all. Moved so I won't hopefully won't get shot in the back. Shame that was the cannon and not the rifles, because, yeah, I could have uh, gotten a nice piercing shot through like two or three people there. And did get a piercing shot there. And followed up with a cannon shot. There's a lot of stuff here that's ready to go, but... We really need to get that uh, the enemy ace off of demo if we can, but I'm a little bit too dead to do it right now, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, and he's taking some damage. The uh, enemy ace is a general, I believe, and demo is a raid, so... Yeah, so... Enemy ace is a gear Zulu, so... The demo has type disadvantage. It's not the most efficient thing to go hunting... Uh, uh, hunting the enemy ace when you're the ace yourself, but I mean, once they're down, your team really doesn't have much of an excuse for not protecting you and not get, and not weakening things for you. So that is one way to go after it. You know, there, I was, man, the other day I was in a bunch of matches late at night, like I'll probably be doing while I wait for this one to render, and just nobody, again, just seemed like nobody knew how to ace match. Everybody was taking the kills. Everybody was doing everything, uh, you know, doing none of the three things you're, you're supposed to do in an ace match. Those being weaken the enemies, protect your ace. Uh, okay, I guess four things. Weaken the uh, weaken the enemies and let your ace kill them. Protect uh, your ace, kill the enemy ace. Okay, it is three. Wow, it's it's been a day. Just this is my second attempt at uh, recording this because, you know, brain. But I'm just going to go in now, though, because we are out of time and I'd like to have the kill. And I got it. Yeah, I wasn't sure Demo would have time to get that, and we had the win, so I just went for it. Because I'm not sure if I needed that for my uh, dailies or not. The Friday dailies are always win one round and kill two mobile suits twice. Which is one reason why sometimes just I don't get a good, you know, ace round, I think. Because it kind of clashes with those objectives. But this was a good ace round. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. I hope you enjoyed the round, Angel. And until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I wish they'd do a high grade of the Gundam Mark III. I don't... I think it might have like a Re 100 or something like that, but... I don't think there's much else for it. There was almost an MS in action. It was almost released in the U.S. market and just canceled for no apparent reason. Well, the reason the toy line gets canceled is that not enough buyers will buy it. But